Alright guys, here's a quick video just to show that I am um, hooked up to my truck. I've got the BAFX model from Amazon uh, connected to the port of my 2012 F-150 Super Crew Lariat. Um, mine didn't, it had the tow package on it, it did not have the trailer brake controller. So I ordered one from a Ford dealer on eBay plenty of videos out there on how to install it real quick and easy took me less than 10 minutes total um, to install that of course when you install it it does not work right away most people go to the Ford dealership and have to pay uh, I've seen $40 to $100 to have that activated by Ford uh, my dealership wanted 70 to turn mine on I shouldn't say my dealership the dealership in my town uh, wanted 70 to turn it on so I decided to download Forescan and buy the adapter, which I thought would be useful anyway, and see if it was an option that I could turn on myself. And it was. So if you go to, once you get all connected, um, I'm not gonna go over that. That, that process is, is well documented elsewhere on how to connect your, your laptop to the adapter and, and how to connect your vehicle using Forescan. So once you're connected and, and you're in and everything's reading, um, you go down here to the the program button and if you locate the IPC module not the as-built format uh, you don't want to mess with that one because that's kind of like your factory settings uh, it'd be the other one you come down here and hit play and it gives you uh, things that you can modify in this module so engine hour meter, uh, fuel tank size, uh, overspeed warning chime, and then you saw the trailer brake gain setting. So mine was disabled. So what I did was selected it, hit edit selected, and it gives you the choice to hit either one for enabled or zero is what it was set to. So I pressed uh, or highlighted the enabled, clicked the checkbox, It'll ask you uh, if you are aware you are making a change. You click OK. I'm not going to do it here because I've already done it. Um, then once you had had that done, then you have to come down here and click Write. And again, it'll give you a message saying, are you sure you're about to write your, um, your ECM? Um, you click OK. It will do a, um, a cycle, and it'll ask you to turn off your ignition and then turn it back on again so I did that and it said that it was enabled then so then I went over to the brake controller and push the button it actually shows you that trailers not disconnect or is disconnected right now verifying that it's actually reading it if you press the up or down on the gain you can see I'm actually changing the gain now on the controller um, which before none of that would work or do anything uh, and then I actually uh, have a covered trailer with electric brakes so I was able to hook up to that and verify that uh, it sees the trailer when it's connected now and in fact the brake controller does work um, and the adjustment works to, to set the the intensity that those brakes activate on so pretty simple all told including my learning curve with Forescan. Uh, I probably have less than 10 minutes um, to get in and activate that setting uh, on my truck and didn't have to take it to a dealer to do so. As always with anything like this, there is a risk, so you're doing so at your own. Um, uh, you know, it was easy. I would recommend if, you, uh, if you're not afraid of this to, to go ahead and give it a try. Um, but you're doing so at your own risk and you know you could have issues or errors with it but I, I did not uh, the other nice thing about this Forescan program um, is it has tons and tons and tons of things that you can look at and test and verify um, you know it's got a whole list of vehicle self self test self diagnostics that you can run through um, you can clear trouble codes if you get a trouble code it'll kind of give you some uh, tips and advice of what may be causing it um, you can clear it and see if it comes back if you're confident that um, that's either been fixed or if it was a false code um, so there's all kinds of things here I'm toying around with putting the uh, MS can switch 
mod on my BAFX adapter just to see what else uh, is out there. Um, oh, I did want to mention also that I also enabled, so in this uh, body control module, let me see here real quick. I enabled my daytime running lamps. So my daytime running lamps were not on and I wanted them on. And so I went in and enabled my daytime running lamps the same way I did for my brake controller. So as you can see, here's options that you can play with. Uh, this is all in the HS can. So this stuff you can do without any MS can switch modifications. So um, dark car option gives you the option so that when you open the door, the lights either come on or don't come on. Obviously, I like them to come on. Daytime running lamps, uh, you can enable or disable them. And then it gives you the daytime running lamp type. I wish that there's some vehicles that you can select the um, the turn signals to to be on or the the running the running lamps rather the running lights instead of the um, the low beams. This one I only have low beams or none, so that's fine. I'll keep it low beams. Um, you can adjust the the pressure that m you monitor with your front and rear tires. Since these have the this vehicle has the pressure monitoring, you know if you wanted to run a, a 40 psi. And your tires you would want to come in here and uh, and change that so that you didn't get an error when you're running that at least I assume that is what you would need to do I don't know hundred percent if that's true um, you know it's got a speed control smart unlock some of those other items uh, also tire size so if you change your tire size uh, on your truck you can come in here and change that and I'm assuming that um, changes the calibration of the speedometer and, and things of that nature. So there's some things right out of the box that you can do without the uh, the MS can switch. But I may put it in and just see what else is on there. I don't know. I don't want to get I don't want to get in trouble doing anything. I shouldn't be doing. But I thought um, hopefully this video is helpful for somebody else out there. And uh, in fact, you can turn on a trailer brake controller, a factory brake controller uh, yourself with a. Uh, a Bluetooth adapter and force can on a laptop. Thanks guys